Once upon a time, in a world much like ours, lived a superhero named Samuel. Now Samuel wasn't your typical superhero. He didn't have a flashy cape or super strength. Instead, Samuel had a special power that was incredibly important in our digital age. He had the ability to securely pass messages across the internet. You see, Samuel stands for Security Assertion Markup Language. Quite a mouthful, isn't it? But don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Think of Samuel as a superhero who carries messages from one place to another. But these aren't just any messages. These messages contain vital information that needs to be protected, like your passwords or credit card details. You might be wondering, why do we need a superhero for this? Can't we just send the messages ourselves? Well, that's where the internet villains come in. There are bad guys out there who try to intercept these messages and use the information for their own evil purposes. That's why we need Samuel. His superpower ensures that no one can read or alter the messages while they are being transported. Now, how does Samuel do this? He uses something called a protocol. A protocol is like a set of rules or a code that computers follow when they talk to each other. Samuel's protocol is designed to keep the messages secure. Imagine you're passing a note in class. You don't want the teacher to read it, right? So you might write it in a secret code that only your friend can understand. That's kind of what Samuel does, but in a much more advanced and secure way. But Samuel doesn't work alone. He's part of a team with other superheroes, each with their own special abilities. Together, they form a force field of security that keeps our online world safe from the villains. And that's how Samuel helps keep our online world safe and secure. Just like any superhero, Samuel has superpowers too. And what might these superpowers be, you ask? Well, they're called assertions, protocols, and bindings. These aren't your typical superpowers like flying or invisibility, but they're equally important in the world of SAML. Let's start with assertions. You can think of assertions like a secure envelope carrying a very important message. This isn't just any ordinary message, it's information about a user like you or me that needs to be shared between different websites or apps. But of course, this information is super sensitive, so SAML makes sure it's sealed up tight in that secure envelope. Next up, we have protocols. Now, every superhero needs to follow some rules, right? For SAML, these rules are called protocols. They guide him on how to deliver these important messages safely. Like a superhero's code of conduct, protocols ensure that SAML always does what's right and never strays from his mission. Last but not least, we have bindings. If assertions are the secure envelope and protocols are the rules, then bindings are the roads or pathways that SAML uses to travel. You can think of bindings as the best routes for Samuel to take to ensure that the message or assertion reaches its destination safely and efficiently. So there you have it, the three superpowers of Samuel, assertions, protocols, and bindings. They might not sound as flashy as super strength or teleportation, but in the world of Samuel, they're just as vital. With these powers, Samuel carries out his important mission of delivering secure messages between different websites and apps all while ensuring the safety and privacy of users like you and me. And remember, like all superheroes, Samuel is here to protect us. He uses his powers of assertions, protocols, and bindings to ensure that our information is always safe, secure, and in the right hands. With his superpowers, assertions, protocols, and bindings, Samuel ensures the messages reach their destination safely. Do you know what fuels Samuel's superpowers? It's his secret keys! Now you might be wondering, what are these secret keys? Well, they're not like the keys you use to unlock your house or your bicycle. These are special keys, known as public and private keys. Let's dive into the world of these keys and discover how they power our superhero, Samuel. Imagine you have a secret message that you want to send to your friend, but you are worried that someone might intercept it and read it. What do you do? You lock it up, of course, but not with an ordinary lock and key. Instead, you use a special lock known as a public key. This public key is like a magical lock that anyone can use to lock up a message. But here's the catch. Once the public key locks the message, only a special key can unlock it. And that's where Samuel's private key comes in. It's like a secret key that can unlock any message locked up with his public key. No other key can do this. It's unique to Samuel. 
This is why we call it a private key. It's his and his alone. But why does SAML need these keys? Well, these keys help keep the messages that SAML carries safe and secure. When someone sends a message to SAML, they lock it with SAML's public key. This way, even if a bad guy gets hold of the message, they can't read it because they don't have SAML's private key. Only SAML can unlock and read the message with his private key. So in a nutshell, the public key is like a lock that anyone can use, but only SAML's private key can unlock. This way, the messages remain safe and secure, just like a secret treasure chest. And that's the secret behind SAML's superpowers. His amazing keys that help keep the messages safe and secure? It's quiz time! Are you ready to test your knowledge about our superhero SAML? Let's dive right in! First question, what does SAML stand for? Is it A. Super Awesome Mega Lizard, B. Secure Assertion Markup Language, or C. Superbly Agile Mountain Leopard? Next up, what are the main components of SAML? Is it A. Assertions, Protocols and Bindings, B. Apples, Pears and Bananas, or C. Airplanes, Parachutes and Balloons? Now, let's talk keys. What's the difference between a public and a private key? Is it A. One is made of gold, the other of silver, B. One is used to encrypt data, the other to decrypt it, or C. One opens doors, the other locks them. Last but not least, why do we need signatures? Is it A. To autograph our favorite books, B. To verify that the data hasn't been tampered with, or C. To sign our school report cards. Congratulations on completing the quiz. Remember, just like SAML, you too can be a superhero in the digital world by understanding and using secure technologies.